Day two of Windrock. Fresh start. Fresh start, yeah. It has been uh, one for the books, we'll say that. Today the plan is just to go ride uh, some fairly easy trails and try to come out on the south side of the park by Petros. Uh, we don't know if you can, I mean it looks on the maps like you can do that, but we're not quite sure how easy or how hard it is, hopefully easy. Um, so we're gonna go ask the general store if it is feasible. And then if it is, we'll come out on that side and then go up through Wartburg, go do Nemo Tunnel. We've done it numerous times, or at least I have, but we're gonna go show our buddies it, and then take the back roads back to Nashville. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. Referencing the Windrock Park map, I usually take the green trail from the campground down to the general store. I consider this a rattle check trail and utilize it to double check I don't have any obvious truck concerns needing attention. It's a fun way to start, and typically an easily two-wheel drive trail. After consulting the general store, our final route was officially set. From the store we head towards the mountain bike park and onto P1 and hang on because it's a steep ride. A few miles up and we hit gravel. Merge onto G2 and follow through till we're at the base of the cell towers. From here there's a trail to the right to follow for a quick minute. Note, on the Windrock map it doesn't exactly show this overlook. I'm not sure if it's because it's a restricted area. However, I have never worried because it's a highly used area and by no means blocked off. Soon we find ourselves overlooking the beautiful valley below. Wow, hey, <laughs> views like this never grow old. After enjoying for a bit, it's back down G2, back onto P1 for a sec, and then take a ride onto G5. From G5 we get onto G6, and then G6 eventually lands us on Highway 116, which runs right past Brush Mountain Penitentiary and into Petros. For those going to Windrock and interested in the penitentiary, 
There are, of course, several other options for getting to Petros and the penitentiary. Uh, it just depends on your capabilities and how much time you have. G5 and G6 offer spectacular views and are fairly easy riding with numerous spots to stop for breaks. We were a little limited on time and the vehicles were fully loaded, so we chose our route accordingly. I somehow lost most of the video footage for G5 and G6, so you guys will just have to get out there and see it for yourself. The countless switchbacks you just saw was the stretch of Highway 116 that took us the rest of the way to the penitentiary. What a blast. That's a road I'll be back to drive again. Brushy Mountain Penitentiary has one heck of a history, that's for sure. It held several infamous criminals, the most well-known, James Earl Ray. Unfortunately, since our initial plans didn't include actually going by the penitentiary, our timing was off and it was closed. We'll be back though. Check out the link to the penitentiary. I've put it in the description below. You won't be disappointed. Thanks Robin Hatter for joining. Congrats on breaking in the Jeep. We hope you had a blast. Hey man. Hey man, say bye. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed and as always, never stop living.